Two distinct planes in the three space either are parallel or intersect in a line. When they intersect, you can determine the angle theta, and theta is between zero and 90 degrees, between them from the angle between their normal vectors as shown below. Specifically, if vectors n1 and n2 are normal to two intersecting planes, then the angle theta between the normal vectors is equal to the angle between the two planes. So this angle here is equal to this angle here. So we're going to use this formula, cosine theta equals uh, n1 times n sub 2 all over the magnitude of n1 times the magnitude of n2. Now here's another side note. Consequently, two planes with normal vectors n1 and n2 are perpendicular when you multiply them and it equals zero. And then it's parallel when n1 is a scalar multiple of n sub 2. So this is going to be particularly helpful for question number 33 in the homework, so just refer back to this later. Example 5, we're going to find the line of intersection of two planes. We're going to find the angle theta between the two planes given by the equation the equations x minus 2y plus z equals 0, 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 0, and then we're also going to find the parametric equations of their lines of intersection. So first of all, let's write n1, so this is just our first equation, is, and we'll write it in component form, so just the coefficients, therefore it is 1 minus 2 and 1. For n2, that is going to be 2, 3, and negative 2. So we're going to do these in pieces. So first, so the magnitude of n1, so to find the magnitude, it's a square root of uh, these squared, right? a squared, b squared, plus c squared. So this is going to be 1 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 1 squared. So this is the square root of 1 plus 4 plus 1, or the square root of 6. For n2, that is going to be the square root, the magnitude of n2, of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus negative 2 squared. So the square root of 4 plus 9 plus 4, which is the square root of 17. So now that we have all of that, we're going to use that formula, cosine of theta equals n1 times n2. Now it's the absolute value, so it's going to be positive. And then all over the magnitude of n sub 1 times the magnitude of n sub 2. And so we just plug in everything that we have now. So in the numerator, we're multiplying n1 times n2. Now remember how to do that. You're going to multiply 1 times 2 plus negative 2 times 3 plus 1 times negative 2. And it, in the numerator, it's going to be the absolute value of that. So this is going to be 1 times 2 plus a negative 2 times 3 plus 1 times negative 2 for our numerator. And then the denominator, we already figured out our magnitudes of n sub 1 and n sub 2. And so you could, if you wanted to, you could do this work in the denominator instead. I just kind of separated it out. Totally up to you how you want to work this problem out. So we know that in the denominator, it's square root of 6 times the square root of 17. So now let's simplify this. This is going to be the absolute value of 2 and then minus 6, minus 2, all over the square root of 102. 6 times 17 is 102. So therefore, the numerator is going to be, so 2 minus 2 is 0. So we notice that's absolute value of negative 6 over square root of 102. So it's just positive. So now, given this, we know that cosine of theta equals 6 over the square root of 102. Now remember what we're trying to find. We're trying to find theta. So therefore, we are really looking at theta equals cosine inverse of 6 over square root of 102. And so do it in degrees. And so make sure your calculator is in degree mode. When you find this, this is going to be 53.55 degrees. 
So that is the first part of the equation where we're finding the angle between the two planes. Next, we have to find the parametric equations of their lines of intersection. So to, in order to do that, we are going to solve the system for x, y, and z. So solve the system for the second part. So I'm going to write it over down here. We have x minus 2y plus z equals 0 and 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 0. And then so you just solve the system. And multiply the top by negative 2. Negative 2x plus 4y minus 2z equals 0. And this is 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 0. So x's cancel out, we get 7y minus 4z equals 0. And so remember, we're trying to find our parametric equations. So for this first one, we're going to go ahead and solve for y. So I rewrite this. This is 7y minus 4z equals 0. So I'm going to go ahead and add 4z to both sides. Now we have 7y equals 4z, and let's divide by 7. So therefore we know y equals 4 over 7z. Now let's solve for x. So if we take what we have here, what y equals, let's plug it into this equation here. And so I have x minus 2, and then we know that y is this which is 4 over 7z, and then plus z equals 0. So now we have x minus 2 times 4 is 8 over 7z plus z, but I'm going to have to combine like terms, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to 7 over 7z equals 0. So notice this is now x and then minus 1z over 7 equals 0. Then to solve for x, x equals z over 7, or you know, however else you, you can also write it as 1 over 7z. It's up to you. Now to find our parametric equations, first let's make x equals t. And so there is our first parametric equation. And so remember, if x equals t, remember then that this is t, so t equals 1 over 7z. Now the thing with that is that since we have x, we also need y and z. So if we know that t equals 1 over 7z, let's solve for z first. So let's multiply by 7 to both sides. So therefore we know that z equals 7t. So there is our next parametric equation. And then last, we need to solve for y. So y we know is up here, that's 4 over 7z. And so remember that t equals 1 over 7z. So I hope you see that this is really 1 over 7z. So let me rewrite it if you don't see it. So y equals, let's rewrite this as 4 times, this is 1 over 7z, right? This is the same exact thing as the thing above it. I just separated the 4 out. And so knowing that 1 over 7z here, that is just t. So this whole thing right there just simplifies to a t in this case. So therefore, y equals 4t. So there are our parametric equations. And then so therefore, after all of that, we know that the angle between the two planes is 53.55 degrees. And then our parametric equations, we have to solve the system, solving for you know one variable and then the other variable. And then making one of those variables, like this case, I made x equals t. And then we solved for y and z as well. So try out the example here. Find the angle theta between the two planes given by 2x plus y plus 3z equals 0. And 4x minus 2y minus 2z equals 0. Then find the parametric equations of their lines of intersection. So trying this out, you would have found that theta in this case is 90 degrees because you would have gotten zero here, and that's okay. So cosine of theta is zero, 
So therefore, if it's zero, we know that it's 90 degrees. Then you solve the system, and so you find that x equals negative z over 2. You make x equals t, and therefore t is equal to this negative z over 2. You can solve for z first, so multiply by negative t, z equals negative 2t. Then you solve for y. So we know that y equals negative 2z. I solve for it here. Um, and then you find that y equals 4t. So theta is 90 degrees, x is 2, y is 4t, and z is negative 2t.